Casper and Dennis here for Submission Radio, proudly presented by Manscaped, official electric trimmer of the UFC, with the man who's helping Alex Volkanovsky and has been for a while now, Division One NCAA Division One wrestler himself, the head of Bang Tao in Thailand, what a facility, Frank Hickman, helping Alex Volkanovsky with his grappling chops ahead. I just wonder, what is it like, man, being an NCAA Division One wrestler, preparing somebody for someone like Islam? with obviously that Dagestani style. I feel like, you know, with the um, the Masked Magician, where he's uncovering all the secrets, yeah, yeah. you're that guy for this camp. Well, I hope I'm, at the end of it, I can keep my job. So, um, yeah, it's been good. You want me to hold it or you yeah, hold it? I'll hold it. Okay, you hold <laughs> it. We only have one microphone. The budget only left. <laughs> no worries, mate. Um, no, nah, like I said, it's uh, it's been good. Um, we've had a lot of history together, but... Uh, yeah, it's something that's kind of unfolded for a long time now. It's been about five years, five and a half years, and then... We were fortunate to bring in guys like Craig, um, who have another wealth of knowledge in his line of work, and kind of keep it rolling with the team. So, uh, like I said, it's a lot of moving parts, not just one for the wrestling. There's been uh, several people that have played a key factor, key role in, in getting us, getting Alex and the team to this point. So, again, we're, we're fortunate to be here. Um, another chance to shock the world and prove why Alex is um, cementing his legacy again. So for people who don't really understand the wrestling game or the differences between different styles, just explain it for those people at home. What is what is it exactly that Islam's bringing here, the type of wrestling that he brings to his fights? And then how do you sort of combat what he brings in in his style? Because I saw you and Craig sort of broken down into different phases when you guys were training through it. So kind of explain it for those that might not understand. Well, the, the wrestling style he comes from is a bit different uh, to what we're used to in the States. They do a bit more freestyle, which is what you see on the world and the uh, Olympic scene. Um, however, wrestling is wrestling. At the end of the day, it's it all fun, falls under the same umbrella. Uh, when you mix the grappling there and as well, you know, he comes from a Sambo background. Um that with the grappling and the, the, the level of guys he, he, he competes with or he wrestles and trains with, you know, those guys are all used to that, that style of wrestling. And it's it's just a different style. But, again, at the end of the day, it is it is wrestling. So, um, But this is MMA. You know what I'm saying? It's different. Um, you do start on your feet. You do have other obstacles in your way just versus takedowns and, you know, getting takedowns yourself. With Islam, he's obviously very good at what he does. You know, you can't take anything from him. He's – in the position he's in for a reason. We haven't taken that lightly by any means. Uh, we've done our homework. I'm sure he's done his homework. You know, it's been good having Craig around for, like I mentioned before, his knowledge and stuff. Um, he has a different eye for things like that. He can break down things and make extremely difficult things look not so difficult. He can very, He's very good at simplifying it. So when you can do that um, and you can try to stop it, but if you can't stop it, you got to be able to manage it and obviously keep the fight where you want to keep the fight. And don't play so much into his game, and that's that's what we plan to do. Mm. From a physical standpoint, what does it feel like grappling with Alex Volkanovski? What 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 is it actually like? It's hard. Uh, grappling with Volk is hard. Um, there's nothing easy about it. You know what I'm saying? Whether his strength, his stature, his gas tank, you know, the list can kind of go on. Uh, his technique, you know what I mean? He's he's got a great headlock. Um, he does a lot of good things well. Um, like I said, he could just continues to improve on it. And um, does he feel like a featherweight? No, nah, he feels like a welterweight, if you ask me. So, wow. yeah, he's uh, his physical statue is is something else. How hard is it to hold him down? Just break that down for us. Um, to hold him down? Yeah, to hold Alex down. Uh, it's not that difficult. No. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of the interview. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it, it doesn't matter when the round you get, Alex, whether it's the beginning or it's the end. Um, it's extremely difficult to hold him, especially flat. Getting up to his feet is something he's extremely good at, and he can get there several times. And it's up to the guy behind him to, to put him back down, which is always causes a problem. It's very difficult um, in any position. You know what I'm saying? He's good at getting back to his base. He's good at where he, he's getting to where he needs to be. Um, so, yeah, that's just a um, – Job well done on him and his coaching staff. You know, I know Craig's played a big part in that. Craig puts him in some serious positions. But, uh, again, you want to put him in these positions because you want him to be ready for for everything. So when he gets there, he's felt it before. But for the most part, he puts himself in a lot of bad positions. What do you think Islam will be uh, the, the biggest thing that he'll be surprised about in the fight, especially when it comes to the grappling? His speed. Um, I'd say Islam will be – Surprised by his speed, you know, again, it's MMA. So when you mix a couple more things into the mix, it becomes 
not as easy as you'd like. It's not, and you know, Alex is tricky. He's a puzzle sometimes to figure out. When you look at the game that Islam brings in there, a lot of people say that what he does well is he doesn't really make mistakes. He does things well technically. Yes. But what, like, what's one thing that you notice, an opportunity when you see the style that he brings in there? Because when you bring a style like that in, there's also gaps and opportunities because you're not taking maybe the kind of risks that other people might, or you might not be using other techniques that may be a little bit more risky. So what, when you look at the style that he brings in there with his wrestling, with his grappling, with the way that he approaches his fights, what stands out to you? He's okay with being boring. Um, and I'm not saying, I'm saying that in the most respectful way, you know, he's okay with making it a very, um, boring fight. He's okay with taking it to where he wants to go. He's okay with, um, not taking risks. You know, he's okay with that. He's okay with, he has no ego when it comes to that. He's not there to, to play into somebody else's game. He's there to do his, his initiate his style. And, you know, it may take him a bit, but that's that's what he wants to do. You know what I mean? He, he takes his time and everything like that. So you have to be, obviously, you have to be smart. Um, Alex's IQ would definitely play a significant role in this fight. Um, but again, like I said, the more space Alex has and with his footwork and that, it, it's, it's much easier said than done. Well, there you go in a sec, Frank, but I just wonder what uh, you thought of Habib's prediction. Super bold, super descriptive, where he says, you know, we're going to get him in the clinch. He's going to eat a lot of knees. He's going to get tired. Then we'll take him down. Then we'll submit him. You don't hear too many predictions that are that specific. I wonder if you guys looked at that as like, okay, they're actually revering the game plan. Um, and I wonder if you guys are sort of, what is the bigger threat with Islam? Is it the sort of shooting on the legs or is it more like the, the, the trips and the judo throws? What did you think of it? Um, I think Craig Jones has better uh, throws than Islam, you know, so I think we might be a bit prepared for that. But um, Khabib's prediction is, you know, respect to him. He has to back his boy. He has to, to always co-sign for his guy. And, you know, I would do the same thing. I would say the same thing. But it's not that easy just to grab Walt Boss' head and just clinch him and just toss some knees into him. You know, he's not the tallest guy in the world with his stature. He's able to get under people and lift them. So I'm not saying that is going to happen. I will say that... Um, it's just not that easy to grab somebody and just start kneeing them. You know what I mean? Clearly, he's been in that position several times before. You know, whether it was training or wherever it was and grappling, he's probably had people hanging on his head. You know, physical guys, you know, much bigger than Islam, hanging on him, trying to do the same shit. So, um, wouldn't be nothing that he hasn't seen before, I would say. But, you know, credit to him and his team again. Yeah, well, we're just days out from the fight now, so I wonder when you visualize how this looks, it's kind of a tough fight to kind of predict, but what stands out in your mind when you think about it? Um, what stands out in my mind is, again, Volk being able to um, cement his name once again into the books of why he wants to be the, the greatest of all time, whether it's at featherweight or, you know, it's upperweight class at lightweight. Um, I see this fight, in my eyes, a great fight or the perfect fight would be both guys... Obviously, walking away healthy, you know, both guys um, not being too beat up, too banged up, you know, able to get back their families and friends safely, but also a uh, vault putting on a masterclass performance to me, you know, whether it's a finish or whether it's a five round of Alex being able to impose and do, you know, what he's good at everywhere. That would be, in my eyes, the best scenario for, for us. We're looking forward to the fight this weekend, but what we're really looking forward to is the tour afterwards. You're obviously going to take us on at Bang Tao MMA, the incredible, incredible world-class facility uh, in Thailand. Thank you so much for your time, Frank. Appreciate it. No worries. Thank you guys for having me.